Ms. Hurd, you just testified that this case has been very hard for you. So let's talk about that and why. All right. Your lies have been exposed to the world multiple times, right? I haven't lied about anything I've been here to say. You sat here and told this jury that the events in Hicksville started with Mr. Depp getting really upset about a woman leaning on you. Is that correct? Yes, that's effectively what happened, yeah. You testify that he actually grabbed that woman's wrist and twisted it, right? And told her that he could effectively break her wrist by saying he knew how many pounds of pressure, asking her how many pounds of pressure it took to break a human wrist. But your own witness, your former best friend, Rocky Pennington, she didn't corroborate that, did she? Uh, I'm not quite sure what part of that night she saw. There were a lot of people there. Ms. Hurd, you told this jury that you had no idea the press was going to be at the courthouse when you got your TRO on May 27th, 2016. Do you remember that testimony? Uh, I said I did not have anything to do with it. Yes. No. My question again. You told this jury that you had no idea that the press was going to be outside after you got the ex-party TRO on May 27th, 2016. Do you remember that testimony? I apologize, I must have misunderstood Ms. Vasquez. Um, I actually had no idea whether they were gonna be there or not. When I walked into the courtroom that day, it was completely quiet, still, empty. Even though I had given Johnny's team notice that I was filing Objection. the TRO, your Honor, this is not we responsive. had no reason to Move believe to the press knew. Right. And Your Honor, I would also ask that you instruct the witness to please stop talking once I lodge an objection. Your Honor, she's trying to answer the question as best she can, and Ms. Vasquez is misrepresenting to her what she testified to. Well, I'll instruct the last part as non-responsive. Just if you could answer the questions asked. Okay, thank you, Ms. Hurd. In fact, you testified that you were, quote, shocked when you saw press when you were leaving the courthouse. Yes? Yes. You weren't shocked at all, though, were you? Uh, incorrect. It was... You knew... Well, you did bring your publicist to the courthouse with you on May 27th, 2016, didn't you? I sure did. I'm a public figure. I brought my publicist in case it blew up. In case. You and actually had alerted TMZ that you would be filing a TRO against Mr. Depp that very day, no, did didn't not. you? No, I did the not. The one day you didn't bother to wear makeup to cover up the mark on your face. I did not call TMZ or any other news source or paparazzi source. No one. Well, I we never heard did testimony that. from former TMZ employee Morgan Tremaine yesterday, correct? Did I hear his testimony? Yes. Yes, I was he here. Yes. And you heard Mr. Tremaine's testimony that he knew to dispatch the paparazzi to the courthouse on May 27th, right? I heard him say that he knew that, yes. Yeah, and that he dispatched paparazzi to the courthouse to capture a picture of an alleged bruise on the right side of your face. Do you remember him saying that? I remember him saying that. That information must have come from your team, right, Ms. Hurd? Absolutely not. Why would I want that? What actual survivor of domestic violence wants that? 